I don't know, I just heard some doors, I don't know. Let's hear but hold on. I mean, we got some news to talk about, but... To the Cold 45 show for all my baseball fans. I was going to do some spring videos. Nothing to talk about more in spring. But we got some sad news for all my Angels fans out there, like myself. Been an Angels fan for a long time, probably since, since this player has been around with the team. And I want to break down and cry right now, but this is some real shit. On, on, some, on some real. I'm making some food. On some, on some real sad shit right now. If you guys have been an Angels fan as long as I have, I, I don't have like, I mean, I have connections a little bit. I can get an autograph if I want to by this guy. Um, he went to the same high school I went to. He went to the same high school my brother and I went to. My brother played ball with him. Basketball, my brother played uh, basketball for high school and he used to come around and shoot around because he knew the coaches and stuff. We got some sad news that Jared, yes, Jared Weaver, the guy who can't, I mean, now he's kind of getting into his old prime. He can't, he can really fill up to 80, maybe in the 80s. You know, in the 80s, but. I right, we just finished watching the NBA uh, Saturday Night Skills. Chris Alperzingas won the Skills Challenge. Eric Gordon won the three point contest, and Glenn Robinson the third won the dunk contest. But anyways, Jerry Weaver has now signed a one year, three million dollar deal with the San Diego Padres. He moved down kind of like west south, I don't know, south of the border, like almost close to the Mexican border, to so west south of the border. Uh, I do live in San Diego. I mean, but I do not like the Padres. I do not like the party. It's a sad, sad day to see this happen. But if if the Angels play the party this year, I love I love to go. And if it's any, I love to go to the game. I love to go to see Weaver and the fans are are sat and disappointed. He's been with the team for eleven seasons. We, I do have connect. I mean, I don't have connections, but my mom's friend has connections because let me break it down for you guys. I go to this school. If you guys don't know, Simi Valley High, Simi S I M I, Simi Valley High School. My brother went to the same high school as I did, but he graduated before I did, so I lost him to graduate in my family. And Jerry Weaver and Jeff Weaver, the brothers, both went to that same school to play baseball. And my brother played high school basketball when he was at that school, and um, he, and he he shot ball with Jerry Weaver. He shot ball with Jerry Weaver. Um, it's pretty cool. He shot ball with him in high school because I guess Jerry Weaver and other coaches. For the team, also for the baseball team, he shot ball with him. If you guys don't know, Mike Sosha lives in Thousand Oaks, California. That's what I'm getting worried that he lives in Thousand Oaks, California. was not far from where Simi Valley was. And he went to that high school. My brother played ball with him. So my mom's friends own a batting cage out in Simi Valley. And, and they have connections. There are some people, that, some people in, the, in my mom's friend's family. That, we know for a long time, so we talked to him. Has connections with Jerry Weaver. Basically hanged out with him, you know, chilled with him and all that. And they can probably give me a signed autograph. But I don't think I want that signed autograph anymore unless unless it had the angels on it. But he's been with the team for 11 seasons. But now he's entering his, he's kind of dummy down, entering his slump years. He can, he can barely throw over 80. You know, he's in the 80 range now. He wasn't saying back in the day when he was like throwing more than eight, pitching more than 80, maybe to 90 to 100. But now he's like in the 80 range. His max is maybe 90, 90 something. But. If he can throw a fastball like an 80 85, he's like, a, he's like dumbing down to a minor league pitcher, and it's just sad to see him go. He's not the same anymore, throwing dummy down to his pitching, but it's just sad to see Jerry Weaver, now officially a San Diego Padre. Alright. 
Sorry if I'm crying, but I know he's gonna go someday. But I wish he would have stayed with us for at least twelve, maybe thirteen seasons. Call it a day, at least twelve seasons. Call it a day. But I'm gonna probably see if that would be nice. Oh, maybe no. Another show in the sandline. I finished watching that, but <sighs> it's sad. It really is. Signing one year, three million. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's just one year. So maybe after that one year, he's gonna retire, or could he just come back to to Anaheim? But I don't think he should do it. I, I honestly, if you leave, you leave. That's it. Like you don't. I mean, I mean, some people come back. Like they had a Vladimir Guerrero come back for that one day contract, not to play, but it's like you know to get the fans and uh, and get, get his play his banner raised up. Whatever. He's been with the team for a long time. He's been with the team for a long time. He has. Lemon has been with the team for a long time. Even when Jerry Weaver was around, he's been with the team for a long time. And he and he signed that one day contract, so he probably put up his banner. So if if Jerry Weaver comes back, just do that one day contract, sign it, put him up on the board, up on our stadium. We just signed a we just signed our lease, not a lease, but we're gonna keep uh Artie Moreno, our owner, is gonna keep the same through twenty twenty five and probably do some uh re uh What do you call that? Re, re, redo up the stadium. So, like, out of the two, all the way up to 2025, because we're supposed to get a new stadium in Tustin, Tustin, California. Okay, it's, like, not far from Anaheim. But now we're going to keep it to 2025, so we're just going to re, reinvent it, like, do some upgrades on it, but that's it to 2025. And maybe we might, maybe, maybe we might move to, maybe, maybe we might move to, um, Tustin, but... It's just sad. It's just sad to see it happen. Sad to see him go. <sighs> see, I agree. Turn the Jerry Weaver one year three three million three million that kind of Weaver went. 12 and 12 with a 5 point six year right with the Angels last season. He he did okay. It wasn't his best. But they need something because cause the parties are gonna be like ending up in the last in the, in the NL West. I think with it's this is how it's gonna probably go down. Okay, it's gonna go Dodgers, Giants, Rockies. Okay. They were playing again, okay? I don't want to watch it. It's going to go Dodgers, Rockies. Okay. Be Dodgers, Giants, Rockies, D-backs, Padres. Or at least Padres, D-backs. But I think it's going to be D-backs, Padres. Really nothing to talk about. The body doing position players, workouts still, and just getting ready for the spring game start next Friday. And then from then on, they're going to have regular games. But well, they're showing it again. They're showing the sound like I'll watch it again. <laughs> but um the babe. The babe Ruth. You're killing me smalls, but <sighs> I'm really not other much words to say, but thank you, Jared, for your for your hospitality, your 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 years with the team, your pitching years, your great pitching years, your bad pitching years. I, Man, man, I, uh, yeah, yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video, I don't want to get up all emotional about this, but I've been watching this guy pitch for a long time, I haven't seen him in a scene validated school, I was in high school, in Berlin high school, he was already like in the MLB already, I didn't see him play for Long Beach State, I think it was, either, so, but, um, I don't know if I'm finished watching the sound line here, I'm gonna watch, or you, you guys see what you guys like, that's my game, one. see, I'm at USC, UCLA, but that's it for me. If you got the Angel fans, let me know so we could talk about it. 
Yeah, all the drugstore sells baseball cards and balls and all. And the other drugstore is so big. Um, really? What? Where's the UCLA you're seeing? No, where's the UCLA you're seeing? But, um, see if I can find it. St. Mary at BYU. This is on like ABC 10. I should televise this game. They're not televising the game. Anyways, I'm trying to look for the game, but no UCLA and USC here. That's that's it. Cause it's just St. Mary, the BY Birmingham. And uh. I hear ya. Yes. Okay, we got the game. It's on, it's on, uh, it's on, uh, Pac-12 Network. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know what you guys think. If you got the Angel fan, leave it in the comment section down below. I'd like to talk to you guys about Angels baseball. And how sad are you when you heard this news that Jared Weaver has now signed with the San Diego Padres coming, coming up south to the border here of the Mexico border. Up in the West with the Padres, now in the National League, copped out and it's like fuck it, I'm not gonna be in that. I'm not gonna be in the American League. I'm just happy they didn't tell the Dodgers at least. The Dodgers, out of all teams, thank God with the Dodgers. Yeah, do you, do UCLA is my team, man? Uh, UC beat them last the last the first meeting. But UCLA is beating them by what like uh, eight points now. If they make this, because he got fouled, did they make another shot? Be by nine, Lon Lonzo Ball is a beast. Lonzo Ball is a just a monster, dude. Okay, never mind. They're beating him by eight. But Lonzo Ball is a beast. Two minutes left in the, before the end of the first. Lonzo Ball is a beast. Anyways, he's gone for good for once for for one year, so maybe just a season. And what was he gonna do at that? Resign again? End it, dude. I think Gary Weaver should end it after the season. Call it because he, if you guys see him pitch, he's, he's throwing around 80s. He could, I mean, he kind of gets to 90, but 80. Just look, watch San Diego Padres spring games, which I will be watching because it's the only thing we fucking get around here, unless I'm being out never show my damn angels. But when the angels play the Padres, they will be showing it on Fox Sports San Diego, on Fox Sports West. They show UFC highlights here in San Diego, and it says, shows on the screen, Angel versus Brewers spring training. Click on it, freaking UFC, uh, UFC highlights. Yes, they're up by 11 on USC. Yes, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm saddened by the news that he is now a San Diego pa 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 pater padre. Mi compadre. Uh, mi, mi su padre, mi compadre. Jared Reaver is now a San Diego padre. See you guys later. And I'll tell you guys next one. No spring training news besides this news that Really came up three hours ago on my uh, Facebook feed. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye, y'all. Thanks a lot, Mike Sosha, for not re signing him.